On March 12, 1993, the storm of the century paralyzed the eastern United States, dumping four feet of snow from Alabama to Maine and generating hurricane-force winds. At its core was a collision between two atmospheric giants, a massive high-pressure system carrying Arctic air and an intense low-pressure system pulling Gulf moisture northward. This dramatic event perfectly illustrates how invisible pressure differences drive Earth's weather patterns. High-pressure systems or anticyclones form when atmospheric pressure exceeds 1013 millibars at sea level. Picture these as invisible domes of dense, heavy air where air descends from upper altitudes, warming and compressing as it falls. This downward motion suppresses cloud formation, creating clear blue skies and calm conditions. However, high-pressure systems can create extremes. During summer, they trap heat like a greenhouse, potentially causing dangerous heat waves. The deadly 2003 European heat wave, which claimed 35,000 lives, resulted from a persistent high-pressure dome. In in winter, these systems bring brilliant sunshine but bone-chilling cold. Low-pressure systems or cyclones represent the atmosphere's restless side. When pressure drops below 1013 millibars, air rises from the surface carrying moisture skyward. As this air climbs into cooler altitude, water vapor condenses into towering clouds that signal approaching storms. These unstable systems generate everything from gentle showers to catastrophic hurricanes. Earth rotation as the Coriolis effect causing these systems to spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere creating the characteristic spiral patterns visible in satellite images. Air flows from high to low pressure areas like water rushing downhill. The greater the pressure difference, the stronger the winds. When contrasting air masses meet, they create frontal boundaries that produce dramatic weather. Cold fronts form when dense cold air wedges underneath warmer air, forcing rapid uplift that creates thunderstorms and sudden temperature drops. Warm fronts develop when lighter warm air gradually overrides cooler air, producing widespread steady precipitation. The intensity of frontal weather depends directly on the pressure difference between colliding systems. The jet stream acts as the atmosphere's high-altitude highway, flowing 6 to 9 miles above Earth's surface at speeds of 100 to 200 miles per hour. This narrow band of winds is fueled by temperature contrast between air masses, which create pressure differences. The jet stream directly steers surface pressure systems like a conveyor belt. Low pressure systems typically travel along the jet stream's path while its speed determines how quickly weather systems move through regions. When the jet stream develops large waves or stores, weather patterns can persist for days or weeks, creating prolonged heat waves or extended stormy periods. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.